Hi and welcome to the channel, this is Tyra. So today is November the 8th, I just had to take a check. Uh, 2020, it's Sunday, so I'm off work. My husband is not off work, he is uh, he's working until 3 o'clock, so I have around an hour to do a recording, which is perfect because I haven't had much time alone because he's working mainly from home. And on top of that, we've had some children being sent home uh, due to coronavirus uh, that they've been into contact with one. Some in the classrooms has tested positive. There's a mom tested positive and so on. So yeah, it's just, a, uh, it's just not easy to get around filming. And on top of that, my mood hasn't been the best, to be quite honest. It's been... Uh, going to work, coming home, sitting down, being a couch potato and just watching, yeah, Netflix and all sorts of different things. So, so that's, uh, I'm hoping to get back into my main rhythm of things and, um, and yeah, record some more videos and do the stuff that I love to do. Um, Life updates is that we are back to work, all of us. My husband is at home mainly. I'm full time, time uh, back to work and present at work. So we're not working home for in my company. Children is back to school full time as well. Um, being sent home once in a while with, uh, <laughs> with this uh, uh, yeah, it's it's random how they are there because of the coronavirus and the uh, people testing positive. It's just how it is. They're enjoying being back to school. Uh, life quality is definitely better for them because uh, they're seeing their friends. They're receiving much more uh, a better a better one to one communication and so on with the teachers than on online. I think my son is much more happy about it. I think my daughter could have stayed home together with his uh, her dad if she if she was allowed to do that. Um, otherwise, we've been uh, just shut down more or less again in Denmark. We are not allowed to go to Germany. We are not allowed to. Yeah, we are, we are probably not allowed to leave our country at all because they found a, a cluster five here. Uh, they call it, it's a new uh, mutation of the coronavirus and it's uh, it's coming from our mink farms which are really really huge in Denmark. There's around, I think there's around a thousand mink farms here which is probably not a lot but for a small country where I live it's a lot of farms. Um, so uh, they've just decided that they want to um, get rid of all the minks and yeah so they're busy with uh, with uh, yeah uh, doing it as human as possible and um, but it's all of the minks also the ones that have been breeding on for decades and uh, I just had a cat coming in um, so what do you want? Should I just get our fa uh, fat cat and show you? So, here he is. <laughs> this is Bula. He's um, a red Garfield cat, weighing <laughs> a huge amount. And he's always on a diet, but he's uh, outside, so he's supplementing his diet with uh, mouse and rats and whatever he can get a hold on and I also think that he's supplementing his diet with our neighbor's um, cat food <laughs> so so he's a, he's a he's a really nice gentle cat um, but uh, slightly overweight right but isn't he handsome <laughs> Come, can even... So, um, so that's Pula. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so they've just decided that and that has resulted in that they've closed down, uh, I think, one third of, uh, of, uh, of, um, of uh, Denmark, more or less, and people are not allowed to travel. And also within Denmark, uh, not where we live, we are not hit by it yet. But the cluster has gone through, uh, from the minks to the people, and is infection, infection can if infect each other with it, and it's not reacting towards um, the new vaccine um, that we are working on. So it could be the new pandemic coming from Denmark. So, of course, they've really reacted to it and um, are closing everything down in the areas affected. Once again, so um, trying to keep mood up, you, I hope you're doing the same thing and just trying to be uh, looking forward to it. It's, it's Christmas soon, um, New Year's. Let's see if, if we can get a really nice new year. Um, so, yeah, just trying to keep my mood up. And then um, after that, let's try and dry, dive into to some stitching because I have done some stitching. So um, let's try and see that. I also have done some diamond painting. I can just insert the pictures of uh, where I started from and how much I've done. They're here. So as you can see, I've done my uh, diamond painting and I'm hoping to get a bit more done. I think I've put in around 1500 stitch, uh, not stitches, stones. And I am, I think I'm 45% done with it. So I'm hoping to get some more in this month and next month as well, so I can get to around 50% done, 50-60% done, that would be amazing. So I can get it done next year, which is my plan. Um, I Let's then go into cross stitch, which was also what I was been, I have been working on. So I, as I said, I did do some stitching and I have a fully finished object more or less because I have to show you something. So I finished my uh, Mill Hill kit called Scare Scaredy Cats and um, as you can see there's lots of beading in it. I did some mistakes with it because I didn't read the manual. Of course you don't read the manual, do you? So I didn't start it in the middle. So I had to cut something off. And this is a Mill Hill frame, which I bought to take it, uh, which I thought would match it perfectly. Yeah, well, if you don't have to to cut a lot of uh, it. Um, so, but it's still matching. Um, and uh, yeah. Then there's a button. And I can just show you, and he's in here again. Look out. <laughs> Does this, can you see this here? That's a button. And do you think I've misplaced the button? Yes, I have. I can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. I'm hoping that it's going to turn up at some point. Otherwise, I'm just going to find some other thing to sit on here. I just need to find it, but you can see it's missing from here. Not that it's notable at the moment, um, I think. It's not that I'm thinking, oh, there's something missing from the fence, but it would be just be really, really cool to find it and uh, have it on its place, uh, but uh, it's not there. Um, one thing, I've never done an Ill Hill kit before, but I just wanted to show you if you've done it, you haven't done it either. Um, there was a lot of thread, thread left over on it, so these are all uh, the thread. Um, there's other things on this side, it's just because I, I just scattered it, so this is not the... But these are the thread 
which followed along with the small kids. And they're all DMC numbers, so I just have to write down the numbers up here and then we have to... I've got a cat. So I'm back. I'm hoping that I can live, leave off of the right moments because uh, I just had the, the, the cat out, then the dogs came in, then the dogs wanted to go out, then I started recording again and this is, yeah, third time, I think. So, but as I was saying, lots of threads, um, lots of bead left over. I And yeah, I have the kit here, you can see, I've put the beads in here. So what I was thinking was that if anything, anybody of you here, there's lots of beads left over. If anybody of you were interested in doing that kit with the left frets over and so on, um, could you just write below um, that you would like love to do, uh, to take, pass on the, the stash, is it? Not, not. And you could just get the fret. You can find some extra DMC if there's something missing. I think there's a, there's enough beat for for the project, the remaining of the project. I I I will guess that there are um, I'm I'm unsure on the orange ones, but I I would say that there should be enough for a double one. Um, but I, I can't promise but if you were interested in it let me know and um, I will get it to you I think um, I think with uh, customs and all of the things I think we need to stick to Europe for this one because um, yeah, it's just not not really doable to send it there uh, to to the states at the moment. I think. Um, let me check that out. If you are in the states, just write below, and then we can figure out whether or not it's doable. Um, so yeah, but um, comment below. Be away team, all the stuff. Don't ask. Don't say giveaway. Just say I would love to stitch the cats. And um, yeah, because let's pass it on instead of it uh, being here. So yeah, so this is Scaredy Cats. This is how it's going to look. You need to get your own uh, fabric or uh, paper for it. But otherwise, I think it's all there for, for you to do. It's lovely and the colors are a bit bleak on it. I hope that you can see it a bit better here. So... Ha really fun also with uh, with uh, uh, all the pearls and so on so uh, so yeah that was that one needs to go out in our living room again then I worked on my I'm just looking to see if I can find the picture of it oh I buried it down here see let's take it out here so i've been working on my i got interrupted again this time by my husband saying that he's coming back from work it's it's that's what i'm saying it's almost impossible to do a video at this time because there's always something but yeah this is uh la dame a la licona um which i am um, loving to work on. I am going to stitch something else up here. I think in the spirit of 2020 and the new wind coming, uh, this is going to be in the rainbow colors and the same thing down here. I'm just going to try out and see how the, it looks when I convert it. If it looks completely weird, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stick to as is. But if it looks really good, um, I think that's the plan for now. So yeah, um, this is a really, really fun stitch. It's on an 18 count red um, Ada. It's going to 
have a dimension of 30 times 40 centimeters or 12 times 16 inches. So let's see how much I have progressed. This is how far I've come. And I even got to get a, I've even given her face because that looks so weird. What is this? Okay, it's gone. So, so yeah, so I've been working on her head, her crown, these flowers, uh, and some, uh, some down here. So she's almost completely stitched here. So I was I, I was planning to try and see if I could get up here. Do this is where I'm at. So do this, finish that one, and go up here and try and to, to take in the the flag as well, just to see how that looks if that's durable. And uh, yeah, so it's it's coming along. There's something. There's something that I'm a bit disappointed about. I don't know if you can see this, but um, her hair is a bit different than on her on the yeah the the colors and the hair and so on. It's it's just a bit different from from the picture. So I thought I was stitching the picture, but it's not the same thing. Um, so I don't know. Um, Perhaps you should just sometimes take it away and say that's okay. It's okay as it is and let's carry on and see how it looks. Trust the process, right? Yeah, so uh, that's my uh, progress on that one. Um, fun one to stitch, uh, definitely. Then I did some more work on my... What did I do more? Oh, I did this one. Uh, I can't remember if I showed you how far I came with it in October, but this is my progress. I think I showed that one. I'm trying, I think I want to try and see if I could get some more done on her so we can get a bit more in. But it's a, it's a really, this is a piece that where you really really have to count a lot i thought that it would be when it was just black it would be easy peasy to do but for me the counting in it is dreadful because you should really really be yeah you can't be tired when you do that one not for me anyway because i miscount and everything counts uh, or is countable so you can't just yeah you can't sleep with it so um so I'm hoping to get some more done, perhaps come over here and uh, have it done next year with the stitching and then we can see with the beading and so on because there's a lot of beads in it as well. But that's my plan for now. Um, so I'm hoping to get some more stitches in throughout November and into December. Um, then I worked on my sow, which came out here 1st November. So I am almost done. I only, only need to release one more and then this one is done. And I've decided that I want to make it into a pillow. Um, I've been contemplating back and forth whether or not I wanted to frame it or make it into a pillow. But I think I've decided on that is going to be a pillow. There's a lot of work gone into it. So I would also be really, really, really sad if, if it was to be uh, damaged with it being a pillow. But I think that I can have it somewhere where it won't be uh, yeah, filled with cat hair or dog hair or something. So, um, so that's what I'm hoping. I'm, that's what I'm planning on doing. If you have some other ideas, please, please, please write below. Um, so this was uh, this month. This is, uh, you probably can see, Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood. Um, so you had to do the house and this bit down here, these bubbles and the bubbles up here. And yeah. Red Riding Hood, the wolf, and the tree he's leaning up to. Um, 
again lots of counting but it wasn't that that bad as it's been before i had some miscounting where i had to pull, pull everything out uh from the wolf some it, i i stitched the tree that that fit but when i stitched the wolf uh, suddenly his arm didn't fit into the hole in, in the tree so yeah uh so i just had to make that uh again so but as you can see um there's if you if you go around on the internet and look mine is a bit lighter both the colors in the these pinks colors are lighter and the fabric is lighter than the cold four and that's due to that i'm living in europe and i couldn't get the floss um so i had to look from the internet stores and see how the floss looked the cold four looked and guess whether which one I would probably match up to it and I've not been completely correct so it's a bit pink a bit childish but um, that's just it and the fabric is also lighter I think but um, I think it looks good on its own and this is just my my uh, uh, my version of it I'm still loving I'm still loving the most <laughs> the mono eyebrows up here <laughs> are so good <laughs> there's some there's some really hilarious things in it um so so uh yeah really really an enjoyable stitch um i'm not sure that i'm going to do a sale next year um just because uh, i really want to concentrate on some other things and because the sales that i've been doing has ended up being really really yeah uh child it is suitable for a children room small children room which i don't have so um if i find a cell or you know of a cell that you thought that could be more suitable for grown-up let me know because uh, I'm, i i really love the ideas in the cell but i don't want to stitch any more uh fairy tales once again uh i think i'm done with that for now anyway so yeah uh still really happy about it don't get me wrong it's a beautiful stitch it's uh it's going to look gorgeous also as a pillow and so on so i'm not unhappy with it because then otherwise i would just have done uh, stopped it and um and so it's really a fun stitch so um what then yeah then when i i finished my mill hill kit i thought i wanted to start something new in place of my mill hill kit because i have an enough project of course i have so i wanted to buy the all the hills echoed or not i did buy it i've been, I've been having this since summer it's called all the hill echoes it's uh blackbirds designs it's loose feather series number four so we've got a peacock and a blue house and so on i really really liked it so um i thought it was quite big but it isn't so i've started this on a 40 count no it's a 30 it's a 32 count sorry a 30 q is two count um fabric from i think it's from craft, crafty kitten or it's postage i think it's crafty kitten um this is a more i don't know if you can see it's more purple green than the original but for me this was more suitable for what i really wanted to, to look like i wanted a more light modern look than this bit antique one um i chose it's called for two threads over two threads and i started with that and i thought it was just too it's too fat somewhere somehow and um this border up here just came to be a line more or less and that was not the 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 expression that i was looking for i was more looking for something more cruel more primitive uh, because it is a primitive thrift with a more modern background um 
So I decided to, to rip it out and go with one thread over two threads. And you can see here that on the house it's a bit see-through, but I really, really like it because it gets it some it gives it some variation. With the lighter colors, it's not as see-through. It's just with these more darker colors, it's a bit more see-through. Um, I have a huge piece, so I'm hoping that uh, I can find another one of it and uh, make a companion piece for for this one. It's I think I'm going to see if I can frame it and give it to my mom in Christmas present. I'm hoping that I can get it finished for. So it's not undoable because I'm only, I'm saying only, there's, there's some, some big figures left. There's uh, still these ones and, and these ones here and these two larger ones and I need to do all of the, the surrounding uh, bit as well of the house. So there's still a lot, but let's see if it's durable. I'm loving this one. It's really fun to stitch on and I've got the thread somewhere so I can just show you. These are the cold four uh, with one, I missed one of them, uh, which I couldn't get here in Europe. So where have I placed them? I'm just looking at them. It's a, they are here. So I just put them on here, a thread drop. So they are all here. And I said, as I said, there was one color which was a chocolate brown one that I couldn't get. Um, it was sold out completely wherever. Casasiena, Lakeside Needlecraft. I was looking everywhere and it, it didn't come up. So I just took the DMC conversion for that one. Um, but I don't think that's, um, that's anything bad. A um, lot of thread, and there's going to be tons of thread left over because it's not a really huge piece. Piece, but I think with uh, I think with the new ones, if I buy I buy more from the series, they use the same sort of thread. So, um, so I I just need to get the uh, pattern and nothing else. So that would be really cool. But I'm just uh, waiting to see how fast the other one stitches up and if I like the end result before I buy anything, any else of them. So that's uh, cool. And as you can see, when it goes on the fabric, it looks like that. And I really love that to go together with this fabric, which has this, yeah, light blue, purpley color. Um, and it's probably a 36 count because it is dyed, hand dyed and so on. So it's probably sure it's shrunk, shrunk a bit. And that's why it looks a really bit big. It looked really chunky when you got two threads on it. So um, I, I am loving the, the look on it. And also with the roof, even though you can see the bit of the background, I think. It just gives it something so but again this is uh, my taste it's not your taste so <laughs> it's not i'm not saying that you're going to like it like that um but try it when you start out with these uh these um fabrics uh, it's especially apparently the the hand dyed run ones i would recommend you just try out with one or two threads just to see how the coverage is so and then I worked on my uh, Lady from Dimension, my normal Dimension kit. And again, I am grabbing around to see if I can find the cover of her. Is it here? So I just found it somewhere. It's here, <laughs> of course. Uh, so I've been working on her as well. I've been working in the background. Um, some down of her neck down here. Um, so I am almost completely done with the background. I need to get it up to here. Then I'm half done with her. Uh, I'm still missing. Um, I'm still needing to do the 
the back stitching of course but that's going to come um i think i'm going to end up because the the fabric is really really rough it's a really really uh, ada which can almost stand on itself um so i'm a bit nervous with doing the back stitch before ending it because i'm a bit nervous about that it's so rough that if i put something over top on it on a hoop or a q snap or something it's going to to take yeah it's going to to rip uh, the threads that are back stitched so so i'm waiting to the end i've decided so yeah have a bit of thread hanging down here but yeah but she's looking gorgeous and i'm i'm looking forward to continuing on her um the last thing that i've been working on this month was my and i'm again looking for oh i'm so unorganized um here it is no that was the ooh, ooh, ooh. no not that one um i've been working on my permanent uh, it's here my permanent quaker sampler i think it's called it's um it doesn't really sampler or reach you know from silly so it's uh it's um it's from the Deutschen Stickmünster Museum in Celle. So, so it's um, it doesn't really have a name, but look at that. And I was just wondering, have you seen have you seen her? She's standing there. I I hadn't seen her. She's a bit funny, isn't she? So, but I've started. Um, I had done some of the letters. I'm not hundred percent sure that I'm going to finish the letters, but I think. I've decided now that I think that I'm going to finish them and do the border on top and then if I don't like it I'm just going to ignore it. But uh, I, I started down here, wanted to do a bit of this one, uh, this circle um, and it's a huge, huge piece. Don't get me wrong, uh, or don't underestimate this piece. It's it's gigantic. These ones are enormous. There's lots of stitches on them. Um, so I thought that this was just going to be a breeze. It's not going to take a uh, long time to do, but they are not a breeze because there's again lots of counting. Just because you count, uh, you're stitching in one color, doesn't mean that it's not complicated. It is. This is a, like a long dog sampler. Um, but it's going to turn out beautiful in the end. So this is stitched on a, I'm just seeing if I can say, see what it says. I don't think there's any, no. It's a cut, it's on a raw linen, a linen um, from Perman itself. And it's still on the hoop. Perhaps I should just take it off the hoop. And as you can see, I've started on it. Um, it came with only the blue. It's I think it's a 939 blue color. Uh, but I've decided to to put some extra color in it. This is a silk from Masuda's. It's this one. Um, I don't know why it's coming all up lighter on the fabric. It's not that light in reality also if you just compare it this is the real color this is not how it looks in reality uh, but anyway um as i said this is a huge piece i think this part alone is really really big and there's a lot of counting in it as you can see so you i had to tear, tear up this two times before i got it right because i can't count apparently but then now it's it's looking all right um so i have to come down into the middle and do the four do it again four times but as i don't know if you can see how big it is just compared with my hand um it's a huge huge piece and it's going to take look at that <laughs> let me just go back so it's going to take 
forever to do. So this is one of those which you, which we're going to talk around being finished with in four or five years. So we've got plenty of time, don't we? <laughs> so, but it's fun to work on and um, uh, it's a slow going process and it's a slow going piece. But yeah, I've got other pieces, which is also fun to work on. I think I'm going trying to go and again continue with it this uh, uh, weekend and take it out a bit more than I've done before. Um, I have two long dog sandals which I'm also trying to work a bit on and um, I think um, I'm putting those ones behind a bit and working a little a bit on this one because there's not many more working on it. Um, and I think that it's going to be really, really pretty when it's done. Um, I think with the long dog samplers, I'm going to take them up again next year uh, and take this one a bit further ahead because it is gorgeous and it's going to look so gorgeous when it's done. So yeah. Um, then we come to plants. And as I've said, I have some plans. Um, I really want to get back into my my fairy, which is here now. Um, I'm almost done with the first page, so she's. Uh, she, I only need to do this over here, and then she's done. So that's my. Uh, my goal for November to have this done and then start moving down on the second half of the chart and and work on her dress and so on. It also almost looks like she has a mouth uh, protection on, doesn't it? <laughs> so um, perhaps she's, uh, she's like 2020, I just need to stitch some eyes and then she's perfect. Um, yeah, and then I just want to work down on her dress and uh, do this one. But she's she's gigantic because when I see some of the other ones that um, people have been working on, I think I didn't know that, but she's huge. I thought that that the mermaids and so on was huge, but she's she's bigger. There's no there's no quarter stitches or half stitches on her, uh, but but she's just. A really big, really large lady, so I think she's um, she's as big as the winter and uh, and the other queens. So yeah, and then finally, I was planning on working on this one, and I've been planning on working in, on it. I don't know for how long, but this time it's coming out. I've decided it's coming out next weekend. I'm going to dedicate all next weekend to it. Let's see how far I get. I would really love to fill out this blank here and here and come down and work a bit more down here so we can get it. And and also over here, uh, just, just to have it coming down. But there's a lot of holes and she hasn't, this is a, a piece, a save the stitches piece and she hasn't really worked uh, or, or, or shown which stitches are mit missing and I when I look through it there's some blanks like here I don't know if you can see this one but this is a blank one it's not been filled in so I have to go and that's why I think I got a bit fed up with it is that I have to go into uh, the paper chart and figure out how far ahead she is and then she's really tight she has really really tight stitches and I think I'm a bit more loose in my stitches so that's also something that I need to be aware of <coughs> <coughs> so I get the tension um, that I get the, uh, the the right tension in it so it doesn't get wonky hmm? so that's my plan and then I need to have a new start because um when i i'm i'm hoping to get 
um, this one finished as soon as possible. And then I really wanted to start this one. And I've been talking about this one before. I think I've showed it before. But I really love that one. I really, really want to start it. So I think I'm going to do that. This is from Marika. And it's by Vini Sotsevs. And um, it's copyrighted. So this one is uh, not a knockoff of anything. And it's called Bubbles. And yeah, it's just a beautiful stitch. A stitch on a, on a dark blue canvas. And with lovely colors, lots of lovely colors. Look at that. So, there's some chronic gold filaments and so on. So, so, yeah, it's going to be lovely to stitch, I think. So, there is how many colors are there? I think. Let's just see. 40 colors in it so 40 colors so it's a really 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 huge piece with a lot of color in it so yeah i think this rounds my my uh, stitching off this uh, time trying to see if i can get some more videos loaded in i am hoping to do that Perhaps once a week. Can't really, really be sure. I'm hoping to do it. Let's get uh, have our finger crossed. So, but I'm not going to anymore divide it into floss tube and diamond painting because I don't do as much diamond painting as I have done. So to get a bit more uh, fill into my videos, I think I'm just going to combine it and talk a bit about diamond painting whilst I'm talking about stitching. I hope that's okay with you. Um, comment below. I see I have had some new subscribers. I welcome. <laughs> I hope that you like and uh, like to, uh, like to stay on board, even though that I'm not uploading with a really really strong frequency. Hopefully we are going to get better, right? So, but take care um, and comment, and I will next time I do a video. I will try and answer some of your questions uh, there was a question about my rotations and so on and i think uh, you can get an idea that i'm more of a what a, i stitch whatever i fancy uh this time but let me talk about about more bit let me take that <laughs> but let me answer that next time and uh, see you soon bye for now Take care, happy stitching and yeah.